finally see it, it's the best feeling on earth. And the best moment, I think, is when you see the car completed. It's like a magical moment. It looks super dynamic and playful. It's great. That's what we always try to do in Toyota, is create products which put smiles on people's faces. We strongly believed that there was a chance to bring bold, exciting, and passionate design into this segment. And I think we did it. My name is Ian Cartabiano. I'm the president of ED Square, which is short for Toyota European Design Development. I personally believe everybody deserves a cool car. And we strongly believe that in this segment, we could create a vehicle with emotional, passionate, and exciting design. And I think we carried it out. We call it the Igo Cross Prologue because it's the next step in development. It's a teaser, if you will. Maybe it's a preview. The aim of this project was to reimagine the A segment. In a segment overlooked by others, we saw opportunity. We strongly believed that there was a chance to bring bold, exciting, and passionate design into this segment. We found that a lot of cars in this A segment are cute. So we wanted to shake things up a bit. With the Igo Cross Prologue, we wanted to create a design that had a fun image, um, a naughty attitude. And we found during the pandemic that although many people live in urban areas, there's a desire to get out as well. So we really wanted to create a vehicle that was go anywhere and do anything. And because this car was specifically designed for Europe, we really looked at it as a completely European design process from start to finish. Uh, we developed new process, and new ways to create design in a faster cycle. So we combined hand sketching, digital study modeling, 3D printing, and VR design reviews to create the stunning concept that you'll see here. We assigned a small dedicated team from start to finish to focus on a unified message all the way through the project. And we did it here at ED Square. Nice curvature, but this height actually, or well, this kind of be more direct and straight. Cars are a passion I've had for a long time, and um, yeah, it's it's my hobby when I was young to draw cars, and now for the past 25 years I've had the pleasure to be able to do it as a job and get paid for it, which is uh, kind of nice. Mm -hmm. 
it's designed to have the intersection, but when they rub down, sometimes it becomes a little bit wavy, so then the designer puts the tape on to, to create the line again. Let's imagine this, and then the shark can keep going. It could be really nice. It's gonna basically fade out. We wanted to, to give a little bit of a, a, a very bold, but cheeky personality. Basically, we worked on the bitone. So bitone is where we have a black area. The rear of the car runs all the way from the underside to the back over to the roof. And this was giving a very forward motion feeling to the balance of the car. Combined with the big wheels or the lifted up stance of the car, this gave us very kind of agile, something which is going to you know, nip in and out of the small roads in the city. It's going to be fun to drive. It's going to give you a nice high eye point uh, when you're driving in the city environment. We were concentrating on giving the car uh, a little bit more, you know, kind of cheeky look, combining these kind of two uh, clamping lamps to give a very distinctive uh, down-road graphic, which would give this kind of really iconic image to the, the iGo. We're using the hexagonal theme this time on the iGo in all the details, and the bitone line itself is also part of a hexagon. A very simple glass hatch is framed by the high-identity, high-tech rear lamps. And we utilize the lamp not only for illumination, but also for the handle for the rear hatch. So we integrated on the lower part a, a mounting point specifically for their bike rack. We also wanted to include a couple of uh, action cameras into the door mirrors. We integrated roof rails into the roof of the car. They line up with the rear combination lamp, giving us a very sophisticated overall appearance. The process is very much a team effort. This is the great thing about ED Square. We have a lot of different nationalities, a lot of different personalities, and we all have different ideas. This is the most important part of being a global company. But of course, from ED Square point of view in Europe, we very much want to, to promote the European style and the European kind of uh, dynamic um, within the cars of Toyota. wanted to design cars and uh, well, one of the reasons my dad used to work in the car industry and I never wanted to do kind of office work so much I really like to create and draw stuff but I think it's just like I love drawing I don't know if I had the skills but I love to do it so it was a pleasure and uh, this is how I decided to become a car designer so the four wheels high clearance hyper dynamic cabin the strong fenders expressive headlamps Really nice, sensual or precision organic surface. Up and that's the car. Yeah, actually, the, we do a lot of research. For example, in Berlin, what we did is uh, interview people that were like really into that world. So like uh, DJs, fashion designers. We're just interested what they like, what they want to do in their life, how they perceive the world and Basically nothing to do with cars actually. The most is far away from cars, the most interesting for us it is. Then we go into the designing the product that reflect those kind of reflections. And then it's the development of those sketches into something that is full size most of the time or now more and more digital. But that has to be kind of a real object that people can kind of turn around, see and judge. That's really cool. And then once all this is finished, we scan the car, we rebuild everything in CG, and then we make the final milling. And from that final milling, we make, uh, we make the car. That's the final product. Probably the strongest thing we see when we look at the car is the, is the architecture. So we see this kind of a frame that holds the car from the back and this kind of super agile bubble of energy sitting on it that is ready to jump. And then the stance of the car is really the four wheels that really on each corner. It's easy to see that the car's gonna be easy to maneuver everywhere in the city environment. Mm. 
And with the highlight of the very uh, okay. I still like this green color. My responsibilities are, of course, creating a new material and the colorful exterior and the interior, and also to make the concept from the beginning phase. The, through emerging about the customer's reaction. So, of course, I, I'm a creator to create the future kind of material, but also I, I'm a customer, so how I feel. So it's really important to emerging so to create a color for me. <laughs> for this project, actually, so color was a, a kind of center so color concept was a spice since the beginning. Then we are discussing a lot, so which kind of spice gonna be the best for the, this project. So we decided to use uh, four different flavors, chili, ginger, black pepper, and the wasabi. So red color always has a super strong impression, has a more sporty atmosphere also, and uh, it can be how to say, my impact for, for customer research. You can see the, the small blue pigments so from the surface. So it's very effective to enforce the dynamic atmosphere. That's why we name it the sparkling chili red. Cross Prologue project was so fun. And I really think this car is fun. It's fun to look at. I love it. And as a car person, I want to drive this car. And I always think that's a good test of the final result. Um, as designers, the creation process is what we live for. And sometimes it can be a little bit of a torturous process because you're always waiting to see the final result. And when you finally see it, it's the best feeling on earth. We do all the research, we do the sketch, we do the development. This part takes a lot of time and a lot of energy and we never see the car completed. We just see pieces everywhere and randomly assemble and everything. And this is super frustrating. And the best moment I think is when we see the car in one color, completely shiny, then it's just like, it's like kind of a magical moment. When we see the car, when it's fully painted, when it's rolled in and the lights are on it, then of course you can look back and say, yeah, and uh, all, that, all that stress, all that hard work was worth it. It's why I'm still a car designer after all these years. I truly love this job. I get excited every time I see the final product. And I'm really proud of the team at 80 Square for creating such a beautiful Igo Cross Prologue that's gonna revolutionize and change the A segment.